What's up, friends of the good boot? This is Money, and welcome to the new heavy titan weapon, Cataclysm, here on the War Robots test server. Last week, I, uh, I didn't think there was no test server, and then I realized, oh, there is one on Sunday. So I recorded some gameplay on Sunday. I'm giving it now to you guys. And basically, this new heavy alpha weapon is uh, kind of a, like a heavy version of Scourge or Calamity uh, for the Titans. But, um, you know, uh, of course more strong, much stronger because it's a titan weapon. And uh, it also has different mechanics, for example, it reloads for 10 seconds rather than just 5, which Scourge and Calamity do. Uh, but it also seems to be firing for a bit longer, so it makes up for it and it's super powerful. It's maybe even too powerful. Let's have a look at this, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Um, we have a, uh, several matches here. I, as I said, I've pre-gameplayed this and now I'm simply adding the commentary to it. And uh, interesting also is that, do you notice that I can barely do any damage to this T-Falcon or to this Falcon whatsoever? And then I press the ability button and he takes a tremendous amount of damage. Um, I'm pretty certain that these, uh, all these ab abilities, also the stove ability from the Kit Titan and also this uh, pushing away from uh, Arthur uh, can ignore resistance completely. But um, maybe it's not 100% ignore, but it seems like it's a lot of ignore. But see how much damage we do to this Titan right there? Um, now the weapon is reloading and he seems he's no longer taking damage, but now it's back. And uh, this is just the, f the weapon firing, and yeah, the animations right now are a bit weird. Uh, you see these purple, you know, beams and, and sparkling all over the place. I don't think these, um, uh, these animations are finished yet, and neither is the sound. So the weapon seems to be, uh, the, 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 the model of the weapon seems to be done. Uh, but I think that the weapon um, firing effects and sounds there's still work in progress. I don't think that it's gonna be looking like that because that it's it, it obstructs the view too much. Look, if you fire at someone <laughs> at long range, you can't even tell what it is because it obstructs the view so much, these lasers. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you see here, there's a good comparison to the right. There is the Arthur firing with um, with this light, light versions of the Dragoon things, Gendarme, I think it's, no, it's a small one. Um, confusing the heavy and the small weapons for the Titan. Um, and this guy right there in front of us has two of them on the Ao Ming, and he's having a good position where he can fire them over the cover and I can't fight back. Thankfully, I have this massive physical shield that will protect me for pretty much forever uh, against his weapons to the point where I get so close that I can start dealing damage to him now and he's, he's really in a situation where what is he gonna do? The smart thing to do, by the way, he can fight me. The smart thing to do here would be... Oh, I did this too early, didn't I? Um, the smart thing to do would be to fly up and then hover right above me. This is where I cannot make use of my physical shield. But he's not doing this, see that? He's basically just uh, standing there right in front of us and not really using um, the advantage of flight. The Ao Ming can bypass the Arthur resistance if he's close enough. And he just hap uh, he just flies up, and then you can shoot over the shield. But yeah, so um, uh, I'm also giving you another gameplay video from the test server about all the weapon changes. The atomizer has been changed dramatically from the last time we saw it. I'm gonna show you this in a different w gameplay video from the test server, and in the same gameplay video, you also see the, di the changes to Shredder, Viper, and um, and a few other things. Okay, I'm uh, Polzar. I'm including this all into the second video. So let's jump right into the next part of this one here with the Titan and the Cataclysm. I'm showing you also the gameplay that led to me spawning the Titan. I was using Wasp. It was supposed to be more accurate now uh, on the test server, is it not? I'm not sure if if it is in fact more accurate already. Um, I do still seem to be missing a few shots at longer range, I'm not sure. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you like the content also from the test server here, then subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. Although I was a bit later late this week with the test server content normally. I'm uh, I'm super early and uh, immediately showing you the stuff that is there on the test server. 
Look, I already, this is something I want to show you. Here's the Ares with last stand and his absorber ability already. And, um, and I'm just attacking in head on with no last stand on my robot. I didn't even bother to put it on and uh, no ability ready at this point. And I put pressure on him with a lockdown ammo and I force him into activation of his ability. Now the ability is worthless. It's not going to give him anything. His shield is not going to block damage and he's not hitting me. And right after I can jump around the corner and just give him down to last stand with a couple of nice shots from stealth jump. Now his last stand is gone. He was mad because he lost his last stand and his ability for no reason. As a result, he comes out and gets even more <laughs> destroyed afterwards. So he lost everything. Last stand, ability and Ares against a non-last standing um, Spectre. Uh, with not even a short, ra uh, short range brawling weapon, but rather a relatively weak sniper weapon. Um, here is a bit, a short sequence of the Atomizer. You see there is a new firing effect to the right that shows you the overheating thing. And the more overheated it is, the less accurate it will become. Um, but you have unlimited ammo and that's the thing, right? It has unlimited ammo and it cools down relatively quickly. But more gameplay about with the Atomizer. Just really focusing on that um, in the next video. In my opinion, Atomizer seems to be doing too much damage now. In the first test server session, it did relatively low damage, but it was okay like that because, you know, it has unlimited ammo. So it needs to be lower on damage output. And this time now on the test server, it seems, seems to be doing too much damage considering it's not Mark, you know, max out or anything. It's just level, level 8 Mark 1. It, it, it really deals insane amounts of damage but more about this next next time oh man uh this guy really wants me every time i drop the stealth he's like Zoo! dash out and wants to attack me um and i'm trying to find a sweet spot here to attack him finally and here we go boop locked nope not locked but this guy locked see that he's locked down now and uh, the shredder, also a tiny little sequence. More about this later. I don't, I, I don't know why. Look, look, he's coming for me now. I activate stealth, and he's like, uh, I don't care. I've got quantum radar running. He's running past everyone just to kill me. Uh, okay, hmm, weird. So let's drop a titan here and change this match completely. We have a leech coming in from the other side. Boop, bringing him down to his uh, ability quickly. And um, yeah, he was he was overrunning this uh, this Wayland anyways. But now he's done. Now he's done because he had his ability done. And here we have a, f a, um, a Lancelot. And um, you know that the Lancelot shield is actually a pretty tough one. Uh, but I think we're breaking through. See, we're already through the shield that quickly. It was a full Lancelot and we're already through the shield. This is quite serious. Now we have here a uh, Nemesis. But these, these Punisher-like weapons, what are they called? Retaliators? They also have supposed to supposedly changed. The mechanic has changed or whatever. Uh, I don't see any change in their mechanics, really. Uh, I only noticed that they're incredibly weak and they just don't really do much. Um, considering they are the, the most brawly weapon we have right now on the Titans, right? We don't have shotguns on the Titans. Thank goodness. We don't. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, we have, uh, well, we have the Gendarme or whatever the small version is called from these energy dragoon-like weapons, right? And then we have uh, the rockets, which are not brawlers. The dragoon-like weapons are not brawlers. Uh, these little machine guns here are the best, uh, the, the, the closest thing we have to brawlers on the Titans right now. And it's actually very weak. It's, it's not really accurate. It misses most of the shots. And even if you do hit, it still deals very little damage compared... No, it's actually really not a bad weapon, man. And uh, not a not a good weapon. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, but it's 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 the best we've got when it comes to trying to you know deliver as much uh, sustained damage as possible on the Titan right now. So and you see we have a speed a sweet spot right here. We have we're holding out all three weapons over the cover. Uh, the enemy Ao Chun cannot, uh, Ao Ming cannot hit us with his lasers. And uh, yeah, we, uh, we are relatively safe here. And that's the cool thing. And even if they do hit us, we still have that ridiculous physical shield of the Arthur. And I feel like many things that I'm doing right here, I couldn't be doing with the, uh, with the Ao Ming so well. I mean, obviously standing here, yes, but 
blocking all the attackers and the leeches that were attacking us before and all this with this sh physical shield. That's something that the Ao Ming would not be able to do. And I really see a lot of Arthurs on the live server these days. And I feel like there's a good reason for that because it's really tough to break through this thing. If you deploy the Arthur at the right time at the right place, it can simply stop an attack of multiple people very quickly. And just prevent them from getting anywhere. The, the only exception really is when there's like many storm, uh, storm leeches coming, right? When there's two storm leeches coming, they simply overrun the Arthur because it doesn't have um, enough protection against those projectile shotguns. Alright, so, Ares. You also see there's a little extra indicator, that white, that white sing thing, the white targeting symbol around the enemy. That's the new look of the, um, you know, focus target that you lock on. I'm not sure if they're working on the targeting system, but this little symbol is new. And it shows which guy you have uh, specifically targeted right now um, with your, you know, with your manually targeting uh, button down below the firing uh, D-pad or <laughs> whatever you want to call this. <laughs> so, um... How you like the Cataclysm, ladies and gentlemen? What do you think? Uh, right now, we can't really tell much about the damage because it's, you know, we're firing at Titans. But um, the stuff that I've seen, the, the damage we do against Ares, for example, or uh, or other robots that are not, like, super powerful, uh, like Titans, it deals a lot of damage and it has 600 meters range. So it's the second weapon in the category of 600 meter range weapons to outrange the rockets and the machine guns. And uh, I must say, it really does very well, even at max range. It deals a lot of damage, and I'm not sure if I want to see this at Mark II level 12 on it. No, wait, that doesn't even exist. Uh, on the Titan with level 25. I'm not sure if I really want to see the weapon at level 25 on, on a life server, Ao Ming. It will probably just completely destroy the game, because now you have a 600 meter range sniper that deals a lot of damage at that range too. But if you get close, it deals much more, even more damage, like a Calamity or a Scourge. So, you know, it, it basically strips an enemy robot of its HP in a matter of a few split seconds uh, on short range. Much more even than these uh, sniping uh, gendarme or dragoon-like weapons do. And yeah, so the uh, I'm a bit of a, I think this it might be a bit too strong right now. That's my feedback that I want to include here on the live ser uh, on this test server about this weapon. I think it needs might might have to be scaled down a bit, like 20% or so. Um, and these re retaliators, I'm not sure, but I think they, they could deserve a bit of a buff, actually. So here is a phantom coming in, attacking us. Why he is so incredibly contempt with just going for me, this is not the only time. He's gonna come back, and he's always gonna go for my Arthur Titan. Despite there, there being a nemesis without ability next to me or whatever that he could probably kill relatively quickly, he goes for me every time. And he's never going to be successful because I have this physical shield that will block it. Look, there he's back. Boop. I uh, push him back. And look who he's going for. He's not going for the nemesis, even though he, the nemesis has no shield anymore. Uh, that's really weird. Now I'm running the ability again. And boom. There you go. Lost his, uh, his thing. His last stand. Quickly going for him because the last stand on him is gone. And you see there's still the nemesis behind him and he still goes for me. What the heck, dude? Wh 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 how did I get you that mad? How did I get you this upset? <laughs> you must have been someone that I killed a couple of times already. But of course, he was not successful because with his light weapons and medium weapon, he's not really doing the amount of damage that you need to do to quickly drop this Arthur Titan. And uh, I, I have the ability against him uh, when he gets close. I have this physic physical shield that he just can't get through. Uh, it's still, they're still both there. Both physical shields are still there. So yeah, this was a, this was a quick match and um, yeah, it showed the Cataclysm. A new heavy alpha weapon for the Titans uh, that is making its appearance on the test server and in my opinion is slightly too strong. Okay, so my feedback right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can it for more. Thanks for bearing with me. You guys are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye.